Hi, I'm Scott. Today we're going to talk about the Ryobi Link storage system on Data Yourself. So these boxes from Home Depot got delivered after a snow delay. Let's go ahead and open them up and see what's inside. So what I have here is the Ryobi Link Storage System. And what I picked up was the large rolling toolbox, two medium boxes, and two small boxes. They also have a parts crate, but it is not available yet, either online or in stores. But as soon as that comes available, I'm going to pick some of those up as well. Let's uh, take a look at some of the features here. So it's pretty obvious that these boxes nest together but they actually lock together, as you can see. And how you release them is there's a little button right here. You just push that button and they come unlocked from each other. The locking mechanism is really strong. You can lift the whole set up like that and it keeps them together when you're rolling them. These handles are really heavy duty and they actually have a soft rubber insert if you want to carry this like a briefcase, for example. These heavy duty locks and you can put a padlock through here if you so choose. So this is the small box and it comes with a couple of these storage bins that again, work with the link storage system for wall mounting. And then it has this bit storage right here that if you use the docket system, here's one of the dockets, you can take the bit holders out of these and then they snap right into, let me see if I can get that in there. They snap right in here, and you can transfer your bits into this container here. Here's a look inside the medium box. As you can see, it comes with the storage bin and the integrated bit holder as well. Here's a look inside the deep rolling box, and it comes with one of these storage boxes and the bit holder again. And this thing is about, ooh, easy, 13 inches deep compared to eight inches for the medium and about four inches for the small box. So the rolling box also comes with a retractable handle, but unfortunately on my model, I cannot seem to get the handle to come out. So I'm going to have to dig into that a little bit and figure it out. Okay, so I jumped right in on fixing that handle and pulled it apart. It's cool because it's just two T25 Torx uh, screws. There's one right there. I think I kicked the other one, but they just pull out of these holes right here and the whole handle comes right out. And then I T T15s, and this handle came off. And then T15s and the retraction assembly came out. And as you can see, it came broken in the box right there. So, question, do I reorder this part or do I just try to fix it? It looks like it's just standard plastic and I could probably glue it back together and then maybe heat bond it as well. Let me try that. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, there it is. See that dent right there? So this is the, let's get that to focus again. This is the downside. So something hit the top of the handle and shoved it down and dented that. So packing, I'm going to blame it on packing, definitely. So that was a really easy fix. As you can see, I've got everything reassembled back together and the handle works now. So I've been using these boxes for probably a month or so since I filmed most of this video. And I just want to show you how I'm incorporating that into my workflow. So I've got a couple of the crates here. I keep mostly glues and caulking in here. And you can see this is all my screws and nails up in this one. And then I have a third box that sits up on top where I keep my batteries and other miscellaneous job specific stuff. And then I keep a couple of the boxes over there. Let's walk over there and see that. So I keep these three boxes on this side. I have circular saws down there. 
up here, brad nailers, and what else do I have in there? Reciprocating saw, maybe. Yeah, and that's in there. My, what else is, oh, that's the um, jigsaw. Yep, and then up here I keep smaller items. So I got a light, my oscillating saw, a drywall screw, and there's my impact driver. And my drill usually goes in there, but I don't know if you saw, but it's kind of over there right now. So, and I can actually put another thin box up here if I wanted to carry something else. So here's the back of my truck, and as you can see, I have tonneau covers right there. That's the only disadvantage I can see right now. So the big box doesn't fit back here with the handle. It's actually about this tall, and it hits the tonneau cover. So if I want to use the big box, I have to take the tonneau cover off. So what do I think about the Ryobi Link Storage System? I like it a lot. It's super rugged, it's very ergonomic, and there's a lot of space. The price point, a little bit higher than maybe some of the lower brand Husky items at Home Depot, but as you know, I'm a huge Ryobi fan, so this kind of matches the collection and goes with the theme of my shop and my tools. I'm gonna use these to organize a lot of my to-go tools, ones that I'm bringing to the job site on a regular basis, and to carry some of my materials like nails, screws, electrical components, and plumbing supplies so that I can move those back and forth to the job site in an efficient manner. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notification. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.